Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting. and so
was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. That's... that, I suppose. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! You acted quickly. I'm just sorry I... didn't get there first. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent. An infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Hmm. A fair point. We can only hope the citizens of Baldur's Gate are more open-minded. But we can't get there with those beasts blocking our path. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now? We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell. 
Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. You see the fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. By more dice, my friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasheb, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will change No Become Ugh. More like butchering Don't know why I bother No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. 
I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Pardon me. I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. I'll tell you. If you'd be so good as to answer a few questions pertaining to the goblins you encountered at the gates. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare, jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? The truth, my friend! Not a jot, more or less! Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. 
I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Please? I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Bells, it's our job to get us out of here safely. Not... My job.